Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutzler. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe and technique for making one of my favorite side dishes, dolphin moi potato. Not to be confused with the dolphin potato, which is a potato croquette made of potato puree and pate choux dough mixed together, rolled into a ball, breaded with breadcrumbs, and then deep fried. The dolphin moi potato is more along the lines of a scallop potato. It'll be baked with heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, lots of garlic, and herbs. Join me now as I show you this flavorful dish. To begin, we want to peel and wash some russet potatoes. A good substitution would be Yukon Golds as well. Then we want to take our mandolin and slice them. Depending on the type of dish that we're going to be baking it in, would dictate how you want to slice, whether lengthwise or widthwise. I'm using a Dutch oven, which is round, so I'm going to sh uh, slice mine on the widthwise to make nice round disc type cuts. If I were to use a casserole dish that was square or rectangle, I might want to do it lengthwise because the potato went up slicing larger and you cover the area a lot faster. Now that we have our potatoes sliced, let's go on to the assembly. Well, for assembly, select your dish, either a square casserole dish or a rectangle baking dish or a Dutch oven as I have. I will first pour some heavy cream to the bottom, just enough to cover. You don't have to go too deep with it. I will then add some of my shaved garlic A little bit of salt and some white pepper. Remember, easy on the white pepper. It is a lot stronger than black pepper. Now I like to add some herbs. What I have is a mixture of savory and thyme. Then I will add a little Parmesan. Stir around. Now let's take our potatoes and start shingling them in there overlapping them slightly, maybe a half inch, three quarter inch or so, and continue doing so until you have the whole bottom of the pan covered. Now that we have the first layer covered, go ahead and add some more of our heavy cream. and repeat the seasonings with the garlic, salt, pepper, herbs, and Parmesan. Now that we're getting near the top, every so often I like to press down. I wanna make certain that I have enough heavy cream to cover the potato, but not so much that it's a soup. So now we are about one inch from the top, I'm gonna do one last layer. At the end of it, I like to be three quarters of an inch to no more than a half of an inch from the top. Well, now that we have all of our potatoes in, every so often I like to press down. I want to get the cream to cover all of the potatoes, but I do not want it to be too soupy. So as I press down like this, this is gonna be fine. So now we will finish our last layer of seasoning. Now that we have the ingredients here, we'll go ahead and place this in a preheated oven, 375 degrees for probably about 40 minutes. Well, there you have my Dumpin' Wap potatoes. Used to make these by the thousands back in Atlanta many years ago. 
and we had it down to a science. And it was very popular. Uh, pretty much, I would say, seven out of eight parties had this potato as their uh, as their starch for their plate up. Now there's other ways we could do this, uh, as I mentioned with casserole dishes, hotel pans, and things like that. If you're to use a hotel pan, my recommendation is spray a little nonstick spray down, or just rub it with a little butter, and line it with parchment paper. And what we used to do as well was after they came out of the oven, we would put them in the cooler to cool down. And when they do, they set. And then we would flip them upside down onto a table or onto a cutting board and then cut them with a cookie cutter to a certain shape to we can, so we can get a more uh, uniform and consistent portion size. It works great if you're gonna do plate up, but for family style, serving it right in the dish or Dutch oven is perfectly fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and I hope you try this yourself. This thing is a great dish for holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, and anytime you're to bring one of the dishes to the party that's not the protein, volunteer for the potato dish. Trust me, everyone's gonna tear it up. Well, thank you very much for joining us. If you've not done so yet, please uh, subscribe to us. Be on the team and uh, see our newest post every week. Thanks again for joining. You invite it.